Welcome back. We have the perfect Friday night dinner for a night in front of the telly. And Tara Walker, the author of Good Food, No Stress, is back with us to show us what we're going to be eating tonight. Hi, Tara. Good Hi, morning. Tara. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? Good. So this is a nice little kind of alternative to your takeaway. Very quick and easy to do. So we're doing sticky chicken drumsticks and a lovely veggie egg fried rice. Nice. So I'll start with the egg fried rice, first of all. And whatever veggies you want, it's actually one of those ones that's quite handy if you're clearing out the, the vegetable drawer. Absolutely, you know, maybe after yeah. the weekend or whatever, yeah. midweek either. You can just grab a few bits, peppers, you know, courgette, broccoli, whatever you want. I have a little baby courgette here, um, which is just, you know, in season and it's gorgeous. So really nice yeah. um, this time of year to have a nice bit of courgette. Mm. So I'm going to pop them into my pan with a little bit of rapeseed oil. Any high burning point oil is just what you're looking for here. Mm -hmm. Not too much. So pop those in. Next up then I have some sugar snaps. I love sugar snaps just because they have a nice crunch. But I was just going to say, it's important to kind of prep them properly for this and take the string off. So you can see I have a little pile of the strings here. So just run your knife, take the end off. You can see a little string comes off. It's just because it's unpleasant There's in your nobody wants it. Always gets yeah. caught in your throat. Exactly, yeah. and it puts you off. And then just take that bit of string off like that. And, and we're, we're just to going go. to throw those in. Yeah, so I won't put those in just yet because I want to give the courgettes another minute or two. Just a note as well then about your actual rice. So leftover rice, if you're cooking rice one evening, make an extra batch, keep it for the next day. Do just be careful how you store rice because yeah. it's actually quite a, a high risk food. Yeah, yeah. So I cooked this last night, but I cooled it straight away in the colander into the fridge, cling film on, and I've only just taken it out of the fridge, you know what I mean? Know. Yeah, exactly. So just make sure if you have leftover rice, cool it quickly and keep it refrigerated. Okay, okay. what do you mean by high risk that it can... Bacteria. Yeah, contaminate yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. So if you imagine um, bacteria needs time, air mm. and moisture, basically. And each grain of rice has a surface that the air can get okay. it. So that's why. So a lot of people actually would might become ill, you know, if they've left rice out after a takeaway and they left it out all night and then they go back and yeah, have a little snack good. and We've the all next done day. that. Oh, yeah, that exactly. Yeah. I remember you went that to own well after it. <laughs> I was missing for two weeks, I think, that the last the rice. Time. That was yeah. the rice. <laughs> yeah, so just kind of be careful with it. Just make sure That's you store it cold. And then the good thing actually about egg fried rice is that you know it's really thoroughly reheated, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Whereas if you're just warming it like this in a microwave, um, you know, it's it might not be... Even. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So let's get that rice in now with our courgettes. And we're just going to warm it through really thoroughly with the courgettes. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. We'll just leave it like that for a few minutes now. And let's go over to the drumsticks now. So our chicken drumsticks. I have uh, quite large ones here, actually. So this recipe is very laissez-faire, you know. So I'm, you know, I've put 16 on the recipe for, for four people, for each. But it's really up to you how yeah. much you want to eat, mm. you yeah. know what I mean? So for our little, to make it sticky, we're going to pop honey and soy. So the honey obviously gives it a bit of stickiness. And that's our soy. Let's put our honey in. I'll pop that upside down for a minute. It's gone <laughs> the other end. And next up then, I have some ground coriander. Whatever spices you want, really. You don't, you're not looking for spice, hot spice, just for a little bit of um, extra flavour in there. Okay. And not just, I think honey and soy on their own can just be a little bit too strong, I yes. think. So it's a nice little bit of balance. And I have a bit of paprika there. Lovely. And let's get that honey on now. Just give That's it a nice squeeze sticky. of it. This is what's giving it the stickiness. You could use maple syrup either. Again, a little bit stronger in flavour, but mm. you can. I have a clove of garlic here, which I'm just going to pop in. And then a little grating of ginger as well. Oh, that nice. gives a nice little freshness to things. And would you let that act as a marinade or are you straight into yeah, the Yeah, you could. Yeah. You could. Like, look, it, you know, it'll obviously intensify in flavour a little bit if you marinate yeah, yeah. it overnight or whatever. But um, even just popping it in straight, you'll still get great flavour yeah, from good. it. And that's some ginger gone in. And then you can toss that all about in it and into the oven. And I have one in the oven from earlier. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. We'll just pop back to our rice now for a couple of minutes. Cool. And so we're kind of well, kind of on the way to reheating thoroughly here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add in my other veggies now. So I have my sugar snaps here. I have a few peas. These are just frozen peas. Mm -hmm. Pop those through and give a nice little stir. And then I have a couple of eggs. So you do want to kind of have a good heat on the pan. I know you don't want to kind of make your rice crispy, but you want a good heat because you want to essentially scramble these eggs in the rice mm. in a few minutes. So I have a couple of eggs here. Just give them a little whisk. I'd say this is something that we cook regularly. Is it really? 
great man for getting the veg into the little people. Ah, uh, okay. Sticking you know? in the rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's tasty. So mm. tasty. It's full of flavour. Yeah, and they full feel like flavor. they're having a takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. filling. It is. And, you know, any veg that you want yeah. to use is fine in here, you know. I think the thing to do, to do with this is really season it well. So you can see I've just popped the egg in and we're going to stir it around and try and coat the rice in that egg. So as you say, you're trying to scramble the eggs with the rice in the pan. Exactly, exactly. Cool. And coat the grains of rice as well Gorgeous. as you can. And we're going to season then, once that's done, with a little bit of sesame oil and soy sauce. So sesame oil actually has a kind of low burning point, unlike, mm. say, the rapeseed oil. So don't ever cook with it. I prefer to season with it. Yeah. And I like to use pure sesame oil rather than the blended or the toasted. I just think it's a little bit nicer. And you know, it's one of those, when it hits the pan, the smell in the kitchen is just mm. fabulous. It's so good. Oh, I love it. It's a distinct now. smell, let's isn't see. it? And you we haven't got smell of vision, but let's flavor. try it now. Yeah. So nice little drizzle Gorgeous. of our pure sesame oil. A little bit of... Yep. <laughs> is it working? Yep. Come closer to the TV screen, you'll <laughs> yeah. smell it. George. And some soy. And then we're just going to finish that off with a few little coriander leaves. Lovely. And we'll serve that up now in a moment once we just get our chicken. So you can see really nice kind of... Like, it tastes like an indulgent little dish, but oh. actually, it's quite yeah. healthy, really. You know, yeah. you've got your protein from your eggs, your and carbohydrates. And nice and simple, Tara, too, yeah, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, tailor it to whatever is in the veg drawer, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, yeah. Just pop in, Use just have up. a look what you have. Yeah, yeah. Pepper, So here sweet is our corn, chicken whatever. Yeah. coming out of the oven. Ooh. So I've had that in about half an hour now okay. at this stage. And how high? Are we 180 or higher? Yeah, 180 or 200. I popped it on a little bit hotter here this morning just to make sure we got a nice kind of golden crisp on it. But kind of, you know, 180, 200 is yeah, fine. half an hour. Okay. And then I have some sesame seeds, which I've just toasted. Oh, right. Very and good. Have I got my tongs there? Let's just plate these up and let's pop a little bit of coriander on these as well. And this is a lovely, you know, obviously it's a tea time type of dish. Yeah. Also quite nice for maybe a kid's birthday party. Yeah. I've been doing these for years actually at my um, kids camps, which I obviously haven't been able to run this summer, but um, they're yeah. very popular. The kids who yeah, come Yeah, it's a great little Cajun dish, you know. It is. Big pot of fried rice, gorgeous. Exactly. And let's pop a little bit more. Sesame seed and coriander Smells on. In the studio. Anything with green and food just makes it look oh, great. It, it's lifts, wonderful. it does. It lifts. The best presentation. Patriotic color. too. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and folks, I've got <clears throat> some napkins here just so you can pick Marvelous. up with your hands if you want to have a little taste we there. Will. There we go. And Thank you, Tara. Oh. You're very welcome. That smells delicious. Great recipe. Thank you, Tara. And there we have the rice to go yes, as well. Exactly. To serve it on yeah, the side. There. Breakfast you <laughs> served, Adam. Indeed. <laughs> uh, what a breakfast. Full recipe details are up on our website. Or, of course, check out eastcoastcookeryschool.ie for more of Tara's beautiful recipes and class schedules. Now, after the break, we're adding a touch of colour to your new season wardrobe. Don't move a muscle.